Hey everybody, welcome to Back Issues, I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. So, Ultimate Spider-Man, again? But we did it already this year. <laughs> That's because these two volumes, if we have time to get through them all, because there's mm. a lot going on in all of them, oh. uh, we could, any one story arc, I could just explain in one sentence and move on. Right. But I kind of like them all, so mm. we'll see how far we get. Okay. But the next one is the Clone Saga. Uh. And we're not doing that for at least three years. <laughs> so I wanted to get these out of the way. What? I just wanted at to least. Give, give them a card. <laughs> what? <laughs> no! So, Silver Sable and Deadpool. As Ben was complaining off mic, <laughs> the fact that there is no Deadpool featured on either the front or the back cover. No, but he's in it, I promise. There okay. is an ultimate Deadpool, and let me tell you something. As we get closer and closer to now, as the ultimate Spider-Man saga rages on, you get closer and closer to me being a member of the Brian Michael Bendis web boards and being intimately involved in the goings-on of Ultimate Spider-Man and the Bendis <laughs> career and knowing people being like, ultimate effing Deadpool people, and then it being... And then you're what calling it, Brian out on the forums. Brian, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I never called out Bendis on the forums. Mm. Uh, I, I I may have yelled into the ether, but I yes. never called Brian out. Yeah, but I never I never tagged him. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I was ever by then by at that point I was very happy with everything that was happening. Mm. There was no point where I'm like lame, fi. No, <laughs> I was just like keep it up. <laughs> but uh, so th the first volume is Silver Sable who had been originally introduced for the first time in the Ultimate Universe in the Ultimate Spider-Man, in the Nintendo GameCube oh, I can't, game. I can't There's no that. thing about it. No, it's, a, it's, a, it's shaped like a cube and you play games on it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> right, so, a six-pack of Natty Ice. Naturally, you could be broing out, you know? I'm not a bro. I didn't think you were. In the last volume, of course, Peter and Mary Jane broke up again. Yeah. You Who's can't be with her. Fourth time? Who Fifth knows? Time? I mean, you know, it's uh, high school, so like, there's no... There's no need to put a number on it. It's like we broke up again. How long has it been? Like two like months. Two months since the last time you broke up, or yeah, the total time you've been dating. Yeah, yeah, uh, yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes. And then like I, I remember being in relationships or knowing people in relationships where they were tumultuous and they mm. break up and get back together, and I'm like, what's your anniversary? <laughs> yeah, is it the first the time first... you got together? Right, yeah. and I think it is. I, I think, think it, it's got to be. One. You stick with the first yeah. one, except like. What if there were people between that? I feel like that's a restart. And then you gotta have another anniversary? I feel like that's, well, especially if you've dated longer after the reconnection. You know what I mean? Like, you know, let's say you go out, you have an anniversary, you have a date. Yeah. You go out for like six months, you break up, mm -hmm. you date three other people. Then you go back out with your ex and you date for two years. Right. That's a little more substantial. Uh, you better be asking them out on the same day that you asked them out the first time so that oh. you only have to remember <laughs> And you don't have day. to worry about it. <laughs> uh, that's, that's nefarious. <laughs> <laughs> well, what matters is Mary Jane is in Dumpsville, population her. Uh, she went out with a dude who was in a band and he yeah. was hot. Yeah, yeah. And he tried to make a move and she's like, no, I'm saving myself for Peter. And as we all know, she will until she dies. Or at least he does. <laughs> Wait, they broke up and she's still, I'm saving myself for Peter? Yeah. She's yeah. like, I'm going to prove that I am worthy yeah, she's of gonna, his She's going to try to win him back. Win him back. And by I'm like, going to win him back by she, dating other guys. Well, no, no, she doesn't. She, she refuses her mind to date them. After she, she didn't really date this guy, no, right? No, no. She, she had been strong-armed by Liz to go yeah. out and meet this guy. And he was nice to her. Oh, and, okay. You know, and there's that no, is different. There's no yeah. law that says she can't talk to other guys and yeah. get rides from them to their houses. Yeah. But, like, the fact is she never actually does anything... At, proactively, mm. you're just not like Peter. Look, I'm dabbling in superpowers. Now we can go out. Like, see, there's yeah, nothing she can do anything. It's but there is a great moment where she sees Peter and she's just mad at him because, mm. like, well, we'll get into it. But yeah. they're dumped, and Peter's like, I can't be with you because you just you just keep you just keep pushing it. Right, you just keep showing up in the middle of my in the middle of my fights yeah. and then almost dying, and I can't handle it. So then, uh, in a previous adventure. Peter had encountered the X-Men. We did that a long time ago. One of the youngest members of the X-Men, Kitty Pride, mm. she saw Spider-Man and thought he had a great ass. And then <laughs> she never forgot. She never forgot how cute Spider-Man was. That, and she that ass. Yeah. yeah. We we launch this new initiative with an Ultimate Spider-Man annual in which 
we see a big crossover between the X-Men and Spider-Man in the okay. Ultimate Universe. Yeah. And in that story, Kitty is also in a, out of a rocky relationship with Iceman. And she's like, man, I really need to get a new boyfriend. And I remember, like, as a high schooler thinking that I needed to be in a relationship. And mm. the reality is you don't. <laughs> there's nothing that says you need to be in a relationship. Yeah, especially not but there's a moment in this where, you know, she's just, she's upset and she's seeing Bobby having fun mm. and she's just like, ugh. And Jean, I think, says something like, you need a boyfriend. And I'm oh. like, no, you don't. Uh, but, yeah, she, you don't need someone else to make you happy. You need to make yourself happy yes. and then you can be happy with somebody else. That's after. right. But Jean, of course, probes her mind without her permission because Bendis is Jean Grey's, regardless of universes, always do that. Right. And she's like, you want to call Peter Parker Spider-Man and you can't because he's bad news bears. <laughs> I want Jean also to be like, oh, now I know Peter Parker is Spider-Man. She knew that already. <laughs> she knew that already because when they, well... When they met, she probed his mind. She also swapped his mind with Wolverine's. Oh, she's the one that did that. Oh, yes. Right. Yeah. Because she's she has boundary issues. <laughs> Apparently. So, uh, Kitty... What's the point of having that power if you don't use it? Uh, abuse it, is what you mean. <laughs> so, Peter, uh, he's just he's just looking at forums talking about him so clearly Bendis is like okay let's read the forums about how I'm doing mm -hmm. and uh, in the opening of the story you know Kitty is in the danger room which you know if it can make hard light constructs and battle scenarios I guess it could also be used like a holodeck yeah which is what yeah. it's being used for and I saw a giant dragon I was like holy shit is this like a fairy tale universe yes. living in? well no it's a it's just a it's just a fictitious Lord of the Rings-esque fantasy world that Nightcrawler dreamed up so that he could hang out with Kitty and Colossus and stuff. Yeah. They're they're D and Ding. They're yes. LARPing. They're LARPing. They're LARPing. And Kitty's like it's the this. grandest LARP ever done. Though. Oh my it god, is. yeah. It's, it's yeah. Real. You could also die as well. <laughs> yeah, no, they're, yeah. Safe yeah. they're safe. Yeah. They're safety protocols in place. But anyway, <laughs> uh, she's like, this is stupid and she leaves. Mm -hmm. And she complains about not having a boyfriend. And then she calls Peter up and she basically says like, hey, we should like hang out sometime. Peter's like, what? <laughs> Who is this? Right. Yeah. Kitty Pratt, does, do you need help? Is the juggernaut attacking? Are we about to do a team up? Right. And she's like, no, no, no. I just want to like... No, we should hang out sometime. Like just, just you right. and me. Like, like outside of costumes. Like teenagers. Right. And he's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll uh, meet me at school. I'm, I'm, I'm at school. I'm out at 3.30. And Isn't she in Connecticut? <laughs> no. She's in Westchester, New York. Westchester. Oh, Westchester, New yeah. York. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. It's a 20-minute plane ride. <laughs> Thankfully, they have one. So <laughs> it's the Blackbird. That's right. That's right. So uh, th does this, the Blackbird pick Peter up from school? Because I feel like that's a little. It, it know, would. It would be a little on the nose. Attention drawing. Mm -hmm. It does come up a couple of times, but it doesn't go directly to his school this time. <laughs> so uh, you know, they get off the phone, and Peter's like, "This is cool. A hot girl called me up. Yeah, she seems cool." He googles the X Men, sees a picture of her, and then has this really weird look at his face, like he's about to jack it. <laughs> and I'm like. That is He's a weird definitely going to jack it. They talk awkwardly, and she's like, let's get out of here. High school seems to suck, because she's never been to one, because right. she was always, like, she was roped into the Xavier Institute, like, early on. Right, it's not like a real school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. but they still have to be, like, super smart and things. That's right. Yeah, they still have to go to class, and they're still, like, doing all the high school drama. It's right. just with, with mutant powers. Yeah. So they go to the mall, and they talk. Uh, Does kid, she also think this sucks? Th they hate it. Look at this place for consumerism. <laughs> well, of course, they're teenagers in the two thousands. Yeah, but like, Kitty p talks about corn dogs and how delicious and amazing they are because she never had one before. Peter mm -hmm. gets her one, and she says, "When the mutants take over the world, the man who invented the corn dog will be spared." And he and he's like, "What?" <laughs> and she's like, "I'm just kidding." And he's like, "Are you guys really going to take over the world? Is that is that your plan?" She's like, no. What? And he's like, okay. I mean, some of oh. us want to. He's I like, don't know. Why would you mind if it go right? there? He's like, you shouldn't say that. It's <laughs> yeah, just, you know, people, the world hates and fears you. This is why people have a problem with mutants. <laughs> yeah. Although he says, you say things like that. He says that also when his mind gets swapped with Wolverine. <laughs> and then it gets put back and he goes, you know why the world hates you? It's not because you're mutants. It's because you're a bunch of... <laughs> and it's just all blurs. <laughs> it's just all bleeps. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, like this is why they hate you. Yep. She's like, I'm owning this. I mean, she's a teenager. She's going to say so much shit. But anyway. Right. They leave. They go on the roof. Uh, they have this beautiful view of the Triskelion. Mm. They, talk, they talk shop a little bit. Nick Fury sucks. Peter reminds the reader that he punched Nick Fury in the face not oh. too long ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, and she says, like, so do you, you don't have a girlfriend? And he's like, no. We broke up because she you know, couldn't 
protect herself from my life. And, mm. and Kitty has this moment where she <laughs> Well, I'm intangible. Oh, Nothing can hurt me. She goes, Well what if like what if like you know, what if there was like a girl that like liked you and she had power so she couldn't get hurt <laughs> and she could maybe help you out in the field? I don't know, never mind and then she leaves. <laughs> I'm like, and I'm like, that's real. And Peter yeah, just calls after and be like, that'd be cool, I guess. Yeah. Uh, he, no, where'd you go? She, she phases through it, just leaves, and she's like, okay, you fought Magneto, you could do this. And he's like, should I go? <laughs> Are you having some kind of problem? Right. <laughs> this is Kitty to a T in this series. Is this is called in the in the parlance a red flag? Hmm. Oh. Uh oh. There's an explosion. Uh, he dons a Spider-Man costume. He's like, you gotta wait here. And she goes, hey. And she phases through his chest. And she's yeah. like, I can't get hurt. Yeah, remember? And he's like, right on. Oh, okay. So then they go and they fight Shocker, who's like a running gag in this series. She uses her mutant phasing ability through m- uh, machines, which of course destroys them mm. or disrupts them. So she breaks his machines and then Spider-Man webs them up. And then she says, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Spider-Man. And everybody claps. And she's like, see, I can help you out. And yeah. he's like, yeah, okay. Hype, hype person. Yeah. yeah. He's like, okay. So let's, sidekick. Let's leave. <laughs> so they leave. And then uh, Kitty gets picked up. Uh, they, uh-huh. ha- they, they have an exchange from Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh. Where she says, well, Dr. Jones, you sure know how to show a lady a good time. And wow. Goes, Boy, you're something. And then she looks at him like they're going to make out. And he goes, no, no, no. And then this is the part where you say, well, until I get my $5,000 back, you're going to get more than you bargained for. And he's like, oh. I, I ruined it. I, I ruined it. And uh, she's like, that's okay. And then the Blackbird comes up. And it's like going to beam her up. Like, I guess that the Blackbird has a friggin' alien UFO. Tractor beam. Tractor yeah. beam for people. But uh, it's there. And she's like, oh, that's my ride. And he's like, oh, okay. Well, anyway. Uh, yeah, that's not inconspicuous at all. Jesus. No. But he's like, well. If you gotta go, can I call you? She's like, yeah. And so he rolls up his sleeve, and she writes her number on his arm, and then, mm. and then they make out. Yeah. And then uh, she leaves. And this is the image that every YouTuber uses when they make a list of every girl that Peter Parker has dated. Mm. When they forget the fact that this is the Ultimate Universe and doesn't freaking count <laughs> because Kitty Pride exists in the main universe, and it's like, no. All right. That's a different Kitty Pride. Different Kitty Pride. Different, different Peter Parker. Peter. Peter Parker and Kitty Pride have had like maybe two interactions in the main universe. <laughs> in this universe. She's his second girlfriend ever. Right. <laughs> so anyway, then he he goes home and he finds that she's already emailed him. Oh. And so they have a little back and forth and yay, now they're together. Yay. Hey, Peter's got a new girlfriend. It's Kitty Pride. I'm sure Mary Jane will be totally cool with this. Oh, yeah. Especially since she rebuffed a really hot guitar playing dude. Yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, and I'm just going to make out with one of the X-Men. Yeah. Well, I'm certain that uh, Peter knows that Mary Jane is, you know, trying to prove to him well no actually she's just keeping that to herself oh oh well that may be a problem yeah yeah by the way there's also a running theme in this book where or this whole series in their relationship with kitty pride and peter parker where she says i can't get hurt she constantly reminds him i can't get hurt right i can't get hurt and i'm like okay so when are you getting hurt she's gonna get hurt real bad yeah no no it never comes up Hmm. she gets hurt emotionally sure but, but it, it, it's, not, it's not like her hubris leads down the path of destruction which right. which which causes peter more anxiety right yeah. no it just never comes up she's just i guess the message is when you have a girlfriend who is intangible and can't get hurt listen to her <laughs> yeah or sometimes people have traits which make them just inherently better as partners. Yes! Yeah, I guess that's fighting crime. You know what? I can't argue with that. Yeah. Or just, you know, getting along. Yeah. So, Bendis throws a few Easter eggs at you. Uh, a month ago, uh, there was a Roxxon attack, and uh, Damage Control is here. Damage mm. Control is a... It's not really Damage Control. He's showing the Wrecking Crew, but they work for the Damage Control, but it's the Ultimate Universe, so who cares? And right. it goes, and Venice is in charge of it. But the idea here is that, like, Damage Control is an organization that cleans up after superhero uh, fights. Uh, I like them. I think they're fun. Yeah. I mean, it has to happen. Yeah. Right. Someone's got to do it. Exactly. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Yeah. Anyway, so... Thanks, Mike. Uh, oh, when you say there's a Roxxon attack, you mean Roxxon attacked somebody no. or was attacked? Roxxon <laughs> is a energy company that does lots of stuff. Uh, like Exxon? Like Exxon. Uh, well, okay. they were invented during the Exxon Valdez scandal. Uh, and as such, they were like... They, they created a thinly veiled organization called Roxxon, which would be the stand-in for 
evil corporations that did bad things, but Who couldn't could be that touched. Be? Right. Yeah, I, yeah, it's thinly veiled subtext, let me tell you. So, Ultimate Omega Red uh, attacks a Roxxon oh. shipment, and Spider-Man swings in and kicks the shit out of Omega Red. Like, the idea here is that Roxxon has been attacked by mercenaries, supervillains, and Spider-Man invariably gets involved and stops them. Okay. So, like, Roxxon owes... Uh, Spider-Man a, uh, a debt of gratitude. Well, well, I don't know, because that ship like blew up. Like A lot of damage is happening. Yes, but Spider-Man's still doing something about it's it. It's still helpful. Yes. By the way, the yeah. fight with Omega Red is fun. I'm not going to get into it too specifically, uh, but ultimately, you know, Sp oh, Spider-Man just... Ultimately? Oh! <laughs> I think we do that in every episode, but Spider-Man <laughs> drops a forklift on Omega Red. Oh, and, and kills him. No. Oh. No, he just, he just hurts him real bad. Oh. No, because there's actually an interaction where... Somebody mentions, you know, I saw Spider-Man drop a forklift on a man. It was the most horrifying experience of my life. And then the guy didn't die. Yeah, like he which was, was somehow hurt. even worse. Yeah. <laughs> wow, so it sounds like Omega Red, uh, he can't be hurt. Maybe Spider-Man should go out with him. <laughs> I mean, he is pretty big. Yeah. Like Spider-Man, yeah. you look for a, uh, for a meat. Yeah. I got the tentacles. You like the hentai? <laughs> He's being surveilled by mm. Silver Sable under the employ of the head of Roxxon. Interesting. And uh, Silver Sable, of course, has a team in the 616 universe. It's called the Wild Pack. In the Ultimate Universe, it's called the Wild Pack. Uh, it's just a group <laughs> the of- The Ultimate Wild Pack. Yep, the Ultimate Wild Pack. <laughs> it, it's just a team of distinct characters, <laughs> okay. none of right. whom have powers, right. who help Silver Sable in their quest to make money. Uh, also, because like they're off the books and they do kind of nefarious shit, mm -hmm. uh, there's an implication that they also go under the knife and like become different people when they have like really high risk jobs, which oh. is like, ugh. There's a moment where one of the female members of the team is just like, oh God, are we gonna have to go under the knife again? I don't think I can change my face again. And I'm like, that sucks. Wow. Don't Jesus. you have technology for that? Can't you put up like hologram masks or something? Right? No. Nope, it's gotta be invasive yeah. physical surgery. No, because like if I die, like my face has to be unrecognizable. Like exactly. the hologram would just like turn off or whatever. Yeah, and then they'd know who I was yeah. after I was dead. Yeah. So they, you know, they're tailing Spider-Man over the period of like a month and they track him down to Midtown High. And they find out that Spider-Man what? You don't need to tell someone to know what like what school they go to. Just well, yeah, the goblin some records blew it up. or something. That's true. Yeah. The goblin blew it up in like one of his first adventures. Yeah. But uh they, they, but they don't know that. The, the head of Roxxon doesn't know that, and Silver Sable doesn't know that, so they, they track him to... Oh, they follow Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, they follow Spider-Man to... They follow his yeah. patterns, and they, you know, they know he's in Queens, they go to the... They, they see him swing oh. out of the school. They should just look at all the posts that Kitty's making online and being like, oh, my new boyfriend, Peter Parker, <laughs> Spider-Man, even though he's a mid-down high yeah. and all this shit. Yeah, she doesn't... <laughs> out him but it is suspicious oh, yeah. that like Do a they... member of the X-Men is dating Peter Parker oh yeah well, that's why she has this uh, this costume in this other book oh okay because I was going to say like he just web swung with her yes. in plain clothes yes. and did a thing yeah but that, that was that was. she didn't say I'm Kitty Pride and that's Spider-Man she was just a girl yeah uh, but I mean, she, she used, used her, her powers, powers. <laughs> so yeah it's a little Someone flimsy. could put the pieces together yeah. very easily I, I, I agree they're stupid children they don't know anything exactly yeah, yeah. that's the other thing is that like you can chalk a lot of this up to dumbass 15 year olds. Yeah. Man. But uh, Venice wants to do an ultimate version of another classic Spider Man story. Uh, Spider Man swings into an alley. The Wild Pack you know, jumps into action. They tase him. They bag him. Oh. They bring him to a warehouse. And they wake him up. And Silver Sable's like, hey, listen, like, I'm Silver Sable. I'm here to like, talk to you. Apparently, the head of Roxxon wants to talk to you. They reveal it's Flash Thompson. <laughs> oh. And Flash Thompson's like, why do you guys think I'm Spider-Man? Stop, stop calling me Spider-Man. And they're like, no, no, it's okay. We get it. We don't care that you're Spider-Man. Like, what? we just need to get you to talk to the head why of Roxxon. Why did they think it was him? Because he was in the alley that Spider-Man swung into. Oh. And Spider-Man wasn't there anymore. No. So... So they assumed that any teenager that was there right, was Spider-Man. In fact, they... He the changed really quick. Bendis does explain it. I see. Uh... But it's great because the the, you know, the crew is like he's really he's really committing to the bit of not being Spider Man. And then Sable goes stand him up, and then she does this awesome swing kick and kicks him in the face. And uh, she's like, "That's not Spider Man." <laughs> oh, oh no, we uh, screwed up. Whoops. So sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Um, 
Meanwhile, real Spider-Man, he is sitting in the, like, library, just kind of wistfully thinking about how he's making out with the next man now. Right. And Mary Jane is in the library, too, and she's just staring at Wait, him. Wait, is he... <laughs> he's just happy because he's making out with the next man? Yeah. Well, just Kitty Or Pride. someone, He's yeah. a cute girl. She's fun. She makes Indiana Jones references. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. So, it's it's about her, not the fact that, like... No. It's sweet, not... I'm dating a, a mutant. No. No, he doesn't. He doesn't care one way or the other. He's just excited to be dating anybody. And uh, Mary Jane's giving him a shitty look. Yes, yeah. she's like, "What the hell are you so happy about?" Yeah, what do you have to be so happy? about? Exactly. Yes. <laughs> and he's like, "Man, ah, oh. Kitty Pride. I wonder if that's short for something." <laughs> anyway, so then uh, Kong comes over, one of uh, Flash's underlings and uh, part-time tormentor of Peter Parker slash mm-hmm. uh, sympathy character, <laughs> and he's like, "Hey." Have you seen Flash today? And Peter's like, well, let me check my underwear. Still on the out, still, still on the underside of my pants, so no. Uh, and he's like, I'm calling. I mean, the dude's glued to his phone. There's no way he wouldn't answer his phone. Well, I'll try him again. And then we see that he's, you know, he's knocked out. Mm-hmm. And Silver Sable just screams at her team. Silver Sable sucks in this universe. She's, mm. she's, she, her team sucks. <laughs> They're all screaming at each other, like, what do we do? They're like talking about how they got to kill this kid because he showed his face. Oh my god. Yeah, because, well, no, because like, they saw they their face. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they saw yeah, He knows who we are. He knows who we are. We said our names. We gotta kill him. And then one of them was like, We're not killing a kid. He doesn't know anything. Who yeah. cares? And so they, they 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 can't stay on the same page. They're talking about how they oh god, do I have to really go through surgery again just for this stupid screw up we did? Like, what a mess. Uh, oh, so they might have to change their faces because now someone's seen them. Yes. Oh, God. Meanwhile, Sp- we, we see the flashback. Spider-Man swings into the alley. He sees Flash. He stops himself. And he goes through a window instead. Uh, okay. Meanwhile, Flash is sneakily in the alley to eat a candy bar. I feel like that's editorial being like, you can't show a 15-year-old kid smoking. Also, Joe Quesada is in charge, and he had a big no smoking mandate at that time. <laughs> it took the cigars out of Ben Grimm's mouth, stopped Nick Fury from smoking, Wolverine, three people, one of whom has an infinity formula who can't die, another one has a healing factor who can't die, another one's made of rocks. So, lung cancer is not a factor for any of these characters. Right. But for whatever reason, the reason being Joe Quesada's dad died of lung cancer, so he had this whole mandate across Marvel no smoking in our books anymore. Right. Well, what's funny is, like, it's dumb for those characters. For this, it makes sense, because this is just an ordinary teenager who's in high school. Like, I can understand you don't want to show smoking. someone like that smoking in a book being read by teenagers right, in high school. Fair. It's confusing <laughs> plot-wise for It doesn't make him. any sense, you know, though. No, you know what it is? He's a star athlete, but he's sneaking Twix bars back in the alley. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm breaking my diet. Like, what is yeah. this? Yeah. Coach is going to yell. Exactly. <laughs> Stupid. So Flash, like... While they're all arguing with each other, Flash gets up and then quarterbacks into them and then oh. runs away. Oh my god. And the team can't what? find him and Silver Sable's just like, oh my god, this is not good. <laughs> and then the Benny Hill music starts playing. <laughs> I can't believe he actually gets away. Yeah. I know. They that's, are the that's worst. Great. I know. And then he immediately goes to the police. The police are like, so we know there's this woman oh, named Silver Sable. God. She has this team called the Wild Pack. They're tra- they kidnap this boy, blah, blah, blah. And Sable is just sitting at the bar with these people and she's just like, okay. <laughs> okay, we, we screwed up. <laughs> We screwed up okay, big time. I'm like, that's bad. your introduction to Silver Sable? Yep. Is she's incompetent? Yep. You know, the, the team is like, hey, so did Roxxon call us back for the, you know, the job of getting Spider-Man? <laughs> so Roxxon, you know, his, the guy's name is actually Roxxon. It's not named after a what? corporation. It's, it's, it's named after yeah. him. So Roxxon leaves uh, his... Is he like a corporate figurehead? Like Bill like, Roxxon. Well, he is... What? You, you take over the company. You, you get the Roxxon. name. Well, his dad was like Henry Ford, yeah. you know, and he's just... Exactly. He's just... He's the, just like the next generation. Yeah, and like the board runs it, yes. but like he works there. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 We get a little story about Roxxon. It's stupid. So Roxxon, he gets into his limo and Silver Sable's there and she's like, you're not calling me back? What the hell? And he's like, you screwed up big time. All yeah. I wanted you to do was catch Spider-Man. You, you, you assaulted a child, and then he got away from you. Okay, all I wanted you to do mm-hmm. was catch Spider-Man. Listen, that's you, not easy. You said you could do it. Yes, but I yeah. paid you a small fortune. And I, can, I still can. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, and she's like, listen, okay, my reputation's everything. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're still gonna do it. Right. He's like, I don't want you to do it. She's like, I'm gonna do it. No, I'm gonna. No, no I'm gonna catch Spider-Man. I'm gonna break him to you. <laughs> it's comped for, for free. He's like, I'm not paying you. They better be comped. Yeah. But he's just like, listen, you have three days to do it, or I'm going to hire somebody to clean up your mess. Hmm. 
and you're like, oh man, this Roxanne is a pretty serious character. Clean up your mess, what, by killing Flash Thompson? Uh, no, by killing her? Yeah, taking her out maybe, I don't yeah. know. So that she can't tell someone that she was working for. That's right, that's right. Uh, Kitty meets Peter after school, incognito, she wearing sunglasses. Mm. <laughs> Mary Jane immediately notices, and she's like, Hoo! So then uh, Peter... How does Mary Jane notice her? Because she, she's, she's like watching, spying on him? She's watching Peter's every minute. Oh, God. So after school, you know, Peter leaves with this cute girl. They, they leave. Pete and Kitty are at uh, Peter's house in their basement, and they're talking about, like, how uh, Spider-Man fought Rhino, which he did in the beginning of that annual. Oh. Uh, and it was fun. You know, it was a fun fight. That's it. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. It's just cool looking. But uh, he gets a call while they're hanging out from Mary Jane. Oh. He's like, oh, hey, what's up? And she's like, turn on your TV. Click. Oh. And, and she starts crying. And, uh, you know, Kitty's like, what's up? And he's like, oh, something's on TV. Turns it on. Everyone knows Spider-Man goes to Midtown High. Oh, either as a teacher shit. or a student. So the news is there. Mm. And they're interviewing everybody, all these kids. The kids are like, yeah, Spider-Man totally goes here. He, was, he fought the goblin here. Like, he's all yeah, over the place. Obviously he goes here. What do you, the what, principal's what? like, uh, we don't know anything about that. No, I didn't, w- uh, the, the, the Thompsons are considering a lawsuit. I didn't oh, hear about it. Who told you that? <laughs> and I'm like, that is such a fucking administrator of school. Uh, yeah, Kong yeah. is interviewed and he's like, uh, actually, I was uh, in the Spider-Man movie and I had a small <laughs> part. I'm actually surprised you didn't recognize me. <laughs> about that movie so Peter arrives at school mm. and you know he meets up with Mary Jane and he's just like this is my nightmare <laughs> yeah oh god they're looking for me yeah and you know he's like hey so how come you hung up on me like that oh, what's going on <laughs> and she's like you had company he's like oh and then she says in a book that didn't age well yeah so I'm not retarded okay oh and I'm like mm-hmm. yeah well, that's... yeah I'm not the goddamn Batman yeah. that's what <laughs> So yeah. Peter goes to school, he's walking through class, he's walking through the halls, he's down in his, you know, he's sad. I, I, I broke Mary Jane's heart. Yeah. And, and, um, and I'm not really that sorry about it. It's, and the media is hounding, hounding me yeah. down at the school. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There's cops oh, here the now. troubles of Spider-Man. And the cops stop Peter and they're like, oh. uh, let's see your bag. Great last page reveal. So they're, they're doing random Spider-Man checks? Yeah, they're doing random bag checks. Yep, for Spider-Man. Yep. Paraphernalia. Meanwhile, uh, you know, Sable's watching... What's happening on TV? Mm. She's the, 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 the media circus. She's like, oh my god. Uh, okay, so Peter knows that the news knows that Spider-Man goes to the school. And yeah. He, does he bring his Spider-Man costume? He sure did. Oh, got to be Spider-Man. On. Great power, great responsibility. Got. What if I got to be Spider-Man? What am I gonna yeah. do? So he's you, like holding you the leave bag. And you go get your your costume someplace. Yeah. You just you use your spider powers to leave. <laughs> yeah. And you jump the you what ten somewhere. minutes? Yeah. So you know he's just holding the bag. They're like, kid, give, give me the bag. Come on. So he gives them the bag, and they're like, and they're opening it up, and then there's a kid who yells, Look at me! I'm Spider-Man! And I say it like Adam Sandler, because it's absolutely <laughs> talking like Adam Sandler. And he goes, Look at me! I'm Spider-Man! Woo-hoo-hoo! Who do shabba-da-doo! <laughs> yep, that's Adam Sandler. That <laughs> and he's wearing this ill-fitting Spider-Man costume, and he's running through the halls. He runs out into the media circus and he goes I can't handle it anymore everybody I'm Spider-Man <laughs> and, he ra- and he rips off his mask <laughs> now give me some Man candy Man. <laughs> <laughs> give me some candy he might as well but he instead he, he, this kid this kid is a straight shooter he has a future he goes my name's Mark Raxton I'm a member of the band Molten Man we're playing on Friday night you gotta come uh, Friday uh, night the Molten Man see us there don't miss it the principal's like what the hell's happening <laughs> By the way, Mark Raxon in the main universe is Molten Man, so oh. that's the closest you'll ever get to Molten Man. Outside of, of course, the, the hot guitarist singing a song about Molten about Man, Molten Man yeah. but, uh, you know, whatever. So, uh, so Peter's saved. Peter's saved. Yeah, yeah he just runs away. He just grabs his bag and runs. Yeah, exactly. So Peter's okay. like, my he, life. He learns his lesson and doesn't bring it to school again, right? Oh, no, he keeps doing that. But he's, oh. like, he's, he's having a panic attack, and he's just like, I gotta tell Aunt May. I, I can't keep she's mm. like when they someone's gonna find out and when they find out like you know what's gonna happen to everybody Aunt May should know yeah Aunt May could be like w- yeah what the hell exactly why well, wouldn't you this tell is, me this is huge yeah yeah so he well, goes to Aunt May's job uh-huh. and uh, she sees him there and he's like clearly having a panic attack and mm. she's like why aren't you in school what's going on and he just he just hands her his bag and he says a kid at my school got kidnapped because they thought that he was Spider-Man it led to me Aunt May and she goes, listen to me. I, I felt like we are going to have this conversation eventually. <laughs> mm-hmm. Spider-Man is a horrible person. <laughs> and he's like, what? 
And she's like, he, I'm going to take my bag yeah. back now. She's like, he's a coward. He wears a mask. One day he's saving people. The other day he's killing people. He, he is he is a disaster. And he has nothing to do with us. Uh, she's like, I thought Spider-Man was involved. Like, I, I saw him everywhere too. But like, it, he's he represents like all of my insecurities and discomfort and fear. Like, you're clearly having a panic attack. He's he's that toxic. She's like, listen to me. I'm seeing a therapist, and I've been seeing a therapist in, like for a while. Mm. And I think you need to see one. Help me through the Spider-Man thing. Exactly. <laughs> Not so, this Uncle Ben thing. Yeah, and she's like, "Listen, like, well, no, she. It was about Uncle Ben. Yeah, but, you know, the Spider Man thing came yeah, up. It became Spider Man. Yeah, but she goes, l- l- just, just tell me you're willing to give it a shot. And he's like, maybe. <laughs> so then he's talking to Kitty on the phone. He's like, <sighs> she goes, so you chicken down. And he's like, yeah, I chicken down. Yeah, yeah she said she My hates me. She hates him. He's a terrible person. <laughs> yeah. She goes, well, maybe one day I'll kill her if I tell her I'm Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like she'll just have a heart attack right there. Which is also another like old six sixteen Spider Man story. The other one was that uh, actually Doctor Doom captures Flash Thompson in a Spider-Man costume. And so Flash Thompson is thought to be Spider-Man. And oh. you know, Spider-Man feels guilt about it. And okay. It's a classic story. But uh, in this one, this is also reestablishing, like, Aunt May hates Spider-Man. Right. That's why I can't tell her. She's not so old she's going to have a heart attack. I can't do that. No. I can't be like, if I tell her I'm Spider-Man, she'll have a stroke. It's just, she hates Spider-Man. And it's like, that's oh. So, that's, I don't sucks. care for that. It's I don't very either. lame. It, why would she hate Spider-Man like that Well, she's much? describing all of her... She has a lot of anger. It's so weird. Yeah, but it's like... I think that's human. It fits. I think that's what people do. People go, people go like, well, I can't be mad at myself. I didn't kill my husband. I didn't... Like, I, I'm not causing anguish for my... For my it's that songs. damn Spider-Man. It's that damn Spider-Man. It just makes her seem kind of pathetic. Well, yeah. she. I, I, she's in a weird place. Uncle Ben died six months ago. Like, yeah. don't forget, it's like 10 years of books. Yeah. She basically gives him some advice because she reminds him that Flash Thompson was, a, was was kidnapped because there were mercenaries looking for Spider-Man. Right. He's like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh yeah. She's like, well, you should take the fight to them. Yes. Also in her, while she's talking to him, like dudes are like accidentally barging into a room. What? Yeah. Oh. That's it. <laughs> and she's like punching them. Just, just a, random X Men? Yeah. Yeah. Well, not X Men. Well, like children, you know, students. Kids. Yeah. Okay, but that's they're still X Men. Well, I mean, they will be, one day. So, uh, you know, Lifetime offers the Thompsons like a hundred thousand dollars to do the movie of the week about Flash Thompson being kidnapped by Spider Man. Uh-huh. Flash Thompson's dad's obviously they're kidnapped like, by someone looking for Spider Man. Right. Exactly. Kidnapped by Spider-Man. Yeah. No, that's yeah. true. Well, they're they're writing their own narrative. Yeah. No. But now it's you were kidnapped by, by Spider Man, weren't yeah. you? Is the movie going to be called, like, They Thought I Was Spider-Man? I think it's called, like, Flash Thompson, The Spider-Man's Door. Something like that. It doesn't matter. <laughs> there, there is a title for it. I'll, 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 we'll get Mistaken to it. Mistaken Identity, The Flash Thompson, Thompson Story. story. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, Flash Thompson. We get a little peek at their home life. It sucks. His dad's What were you so, doing in that hallway, Flash? No, he was He was just like... Was he the candy bar? Yeah, he, the, the dad wants, like, millions of dollars. In the, in, from and, who? From the from these TV people. And, like the and you know, they're like, it's oh, TV. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a TV. He's like, yeah, but with taxes and everything, it's going to be like $40,000. And Flash is like, that's still more money than we make. He's like, go to your room. So he goes to his room and Spider-Man's there. And he's like, hey, hey. so listen. Sorry you got uh, kidnapped. That's my bad. But uh, listen, I need you to tell me anything you know about those dudes. Right, that, I got to find them. That kidnapped you. So yeah. he does. And uh, he goes He to... does, but he also webs Flash's mouth first. Right. Yeah. And like, bloop. Yeah, I don't want you to scream. Yeah, so, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he says, well, tell me everything. And he goes, oh, you know, w- w- when the webbing dissolves. <laughs> so then he goes to the warehouse where they took him the first time. He's standing there, the wild pack attack. He immediately beats all of them. Yeah. And he's just like, this is the this is the saddest thing I've ever seen. There's a great moment where uh, this, like, one of the other female members of the wild pack is, like, doing, like, some karate moves at Peter. Yeah. And oh. each panel is her going, ha! And, he's, and he has a... He says a sentence over a period of like, I don't know, eight or nine panels. Yeah. Where he's like, you can't win. I have spider powers. <laughs> You're fighting a spider. Yeah. So he beats That's everybody. Too bring, sized. A, bring a can of raid. <laughs> yeah. He beats everybody. And he says, I, honestly, I'm never going to tell anyone this happened. I'd be embarrassed to admit that I was up here. <laughs> he's like, to top it all off, I'm going to call the police on your own cell phone. <laughs> so he, he, he picks up the phone and he's about to hit send, but his spider sense goes off and he's like, that's weird. Hit send, and then this <laughs> this emitter goes out and oh, knocks no. him out. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe listen to your spider sense. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, lesson learned. Don't use somebody else's strange device. Yeah. Yeah. 
So uh, then we get like this weird device that Bendis uses where uh, basically we use enhanced pencils for Bagley to show a kind of like storybook quality. It's, a, it's an origin story for uh, everybody, everybody involved in the story. So like Silver Sable, once upon a time, there was a little girl named Silver who was very angry and then uh, one day she got news that her dad was, di was dying. She didn't really know her dad very well. His dad was never around. Uh, her dad was never around. It turns out her dad was a Nazi hunter, and he always skills, and he always people around him. Mm. And then he died, and she wanted to pick up his work. She never knew, like her father was a hero, and blah blah blah. So that's and that's what became a Silver Sable, and like. So does her well, team normally hunt Nazis? I doubt it. <laughs> I feel like if her dad was a Nazi hunter when she was thirteen, from there till now, they probably got all the Nazis. <laughs> So never, there's, there's not too many left. Sure. That's true. Yeah. Well, maybe, I mean, there are always new Nazis, unfortunately. Maybe, yeah, she, Neo maybe she hunts for Nazis sometimes, but you gotta like finance well, you that. Gotta pay the, you gotta, it doesn't, killing Nazis don't pay the bills. Right. So you gotta do things like I kidnap Spider-Man for heads of uh, yeah, corporations. Hor evil, horrible that, corporations. That's the job. And then I get to do what I want to do. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Hunt Neo-Nazis. Yeah, I hunt that's Nazis right. on my own time. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Sable brings Peter, Spider-Man, yeah. to Roxxon. And uh, his mask's off, and Roxanne's like, so who are you, man? And Peter's <laughs> like, oh, crap, my mask's off again, isn't it? Uh. So he goes, listen, like, y uh, my corporation has been besieged by super crime, and every single time you've stopped it or defended me, mm. who is attacking me? Like, who is this? And he's like, what? <laughs> I don't know. He goes, well, who That's are you working work, for man. to protect me? And right. he's like, nobody. <laughs> what? And it's just, it's a complete misunderstanding. Yeah. yeah. Roxxon assumes that Spider-Man must be working Just he's always for, there. Yeah, he's always there. He must be working an angle. And he's like, it, the whole thing is just a mistake. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Me too. And he shows him like, no, like, and he goes like th over all these different examples. And he goes, are you telling me you're just a good Samaritan? Yeah, you're just, no one's that good. <laughs> <laughs> and so they're like, all right, screw this. You know what? Run his, pink, run his prince. Oh. We'll see, we'll see who this person is, and we'll get to the bottom of it. So they run the prince. There's a ping at the Triskelion. Uh, a shield agent goes to Nick Fury, and they're like, hey, uh, so we got, a, we got a ping on like the don't touch file mm. for a kid named Peter Parker. And he goes, triangulate the location, send a stealth team, report back to me. Meanwhile, at uh, Roxxon, Sable's team is like, oh, we've just been triangulated. It's probably mm. shield, they called us. And Sable's like, your friend's connected. God damn it. God uh, damn it. We have to go. We got to burn this place. We got to go. <laughs> That's it. No faces for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> we got to go. New faces. <laughs> so, you know, and Roxxon's like, oh. They didn't get a hit on the fingerprints though, right? No. Because no, Shield like blocked it. Yeah, Shield blocked it. Shield. And yeah. they're being triangulated. Like, oh. oh. So, uh, then we, once upon a time, there was a little boy named Donald. Donald Roxxon. Oh, no. What? He, what? I don't care. All Donald did was... Was, was He was the grasshopper, and he just hung around and had fun, didn't matter, and his dad left him his company, and he didn't expect that because his dad hated him, and now all of a sudden, little Donald wishes that he'd studied more, and now he's in charge of this company, and, he, and, and, and no one likes him, his board of directors hates him, and he's constantly attacked by supervillains. Well, I mean, he is in the company. Well, his company is, yeah. Yeah. So, they're all just yelling at each other, and then a grenade goes off, and oh. there's an explosion. Roxxon falls out the building. Spider-Man catches him. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Peter Parker. Peter what? had an Uncle Ben who taught him a very valuable lesson. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we know all that. Yeah, that's it. It was just like, yeah, so okay, using well... Using that device. Yeah. All right, well, I guess yeah. I'm done with that. Yeah. And that's it. It never really comes up again. It's just like, I Once guess Once upon I... a time, there was a guy driving a car named George. Oh, no. Oh, no. And he decided to move that car. <laughs> But he could because but the engine was dark. <laughs> his wife, once upon a time, there was a woman named Georgina. So, uh, you know, so Spider Man goes up to see who else is okay. He catches Roxxon. He webs him to the O in the Roxxon name in the building. Mm. Uh, and he is attacked by the Vulture. Uh, the Vulture's coming too? Yeah. We've got a Vulture in here. We've got like three pages left. Vulture's attacked. How did Vulture find them? Well, Vulture's working another angle. By the way, also. Well, he's one of the guys attacking Roxxon, apparently. They just happen to show up at the same time Shield's on their way? Yeah. Well, that's good for Peter, because, like, Shield will show up and take care of the Vulture. No, he's got to fight Vulture. Uh, there's a moment where uh, Spider-Man faces the Vulture, and he says, I know I've only been a superhero for a relatively short period of time, but you're like a bad guy, right? <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, that's the exact same line from Shazam. Really? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that, but yeah. yeah. And I'm it's like, a good line. It's a good line. It's a great line. Yeah. 
But it's and it predates Bendis. Shazam by twenty years. Yep. So anyway, uh, Spider Man fights Vulture. It's not Adrian Toomes. Oh no, who is it? Blackie Drago. Oh. And Blackie Drago was Vulture in the original series, but oh, really? the second Vulture. Blackie oh, Drago was okay. a cellmate who stole Toomes' technology and became the Vulture oh, also okay. for like a minute. Right. So this is Ultimate Vulture, so it's different. It's, it's just it's it's a little different. different. But familiar. But, yeah. yeah. I like that someone not sharing random. the cell with Toomes is just like, this guy will not shut up about being the vulture. Yeah. I'm going to be the vulture. He, he even says where all of his stuff is, yeah. the access code. That's right. Yeah. Literally yeah. anybody could be vulture. He knows I'm getting out three years before him. Yeah, I, think he, I think he steals the... Uh, I, it, it's not that simple. Yeah. He goes through a whole thing. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, Spider-Man fights vulture and the S.H.I.E.L.D. team... Oh, actually Stark is with Fury and Stark's like, I'll just suit up and kick the shit out of this vulture guy. And <laughs> Nick Fury's like, no, 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 I'm, 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 I'm watching him. I'm watching Spider-Man. Mm, I want to see. I want to see what he does. And he's he like, you know he can do it. And he's like, no, no, no I'm not testing for that. Mm. It's like, what are, you, what are you testing for? Just to see if he kills him. Yeah, I'm testing <laughs> to see what can beat him. Oh. Because remember, Nick Fury, when he got right, punched, yeah, he yeah. he's like, I want to punch me. We got to yeah. get rid of his spider powers. That's it, he's done. That's it, that's enough. Enough. So Spider-Man fights Vulture and he wins. That's it. Like, Silver Sable shoots his, like, his, his, his power pack you know the, the, the thing that keeps him like up in the air oh yeah. uh, Spider-Man rescues Vulture and uh, when he defeats Vulture he uh, you know he returns to the scene of the crime and Roxxon's been recovered the wild pack are gone the idea is that the guy who sent Vulture calls Roxxon in his cell phone and he's like you fat stupid idiot you fired me and I invented this friggin Vulture suit and now I'm gonna kill you with the thing that I built for you and Fury's like, Justin Hammer? Now right. I'm gonna kill you with it. Now I'm gonna kill you with it. That's right. How ironic, Tony. <laughs> Rocks on. But, uh, so Iron Man and Nick Fury arrive at this like disgruntled little man in his little right. cave with a bunch of scraps. Uh, it's, it's the Tinkerer. Oh. And the Tinkerer was a disgruntled right. Roxxon employee. And, yeah. and he, you know, he uses the Vulture tech and, and they're just like, Okay, so it, and I love Fury because he's like, okay, so you're messed up, you're a messed up, dude. You got a, you got a, but you got a billion dollar brain, and I could use that. So you, <laughs> you're under arrest, uh, but like not the kind of arrest where you get a lawyer, <laughs> and uh, but not the kind where you go to prison either. No, well, no you get a lab, little, you get an apartment. Yeah. It's not bad. You're it's not still bad. not allowed to go out. Yeah. No, but you are. You're stuck in your house. Right. It's a house, it's house arrest. arrest. It's not bad. Well, yeah. he, he, not your house. He, he doesn't put it quite as diplomatically. He says, "You work for me till I say you're done. You live under lock and key until I say you're done. You see a shrink until I say you're done. And if you don't, I shoot you for trying to escape. I take your stuff anyway." <laughs> and the look on his face at this dude is like, I am not fucking around. Yeah. And uh, he goes, well, what's that a big thing over there? And he goes, it's a slayer. And he goes, what does it slay? And Tinker goes, what you got? <laughs> this is an homage to spider slayers. Oh, okay. that's a thing. Mm -hmm. Spider slayers were originally created by Alistair Smythe. Uh, but that's, again, in the other universe. This is just kind of like compartmentalizing. Yeah. Slayers. Nick Fury is going to start developing spider slayers. Oh, I and thought he wanted to take Spider-Man's powers. Well, it sounds like they're going to kill him. What if Spider-Man goes bad? I need something right. to take down Spider-Man. The also, vulture like, wasn't enough. What if Spider-Man goes bad? Right. Why would he go bad? Because he's a child and he's been through trauma, a lot of trauma over the last 6 months. And he punched me. And he has superpowers and, he punched and me in the face. I put together the ultimates. Half of them are monsters. <laughs> So it's just, two thirds of the my experience, these people are unstable. Yes, in fact, Spider Man is the only North Star in the Ultimate Universe. But right. they're unstable that I can use. Yeah, but Fury doesn't like believe that. Right. Uh, so yeah, um, Roxon gets into his limo. Sable's there. And she's like, "You're gonna pay me my money, or um, I'm gonna, or I'm gonna kill you in your sleep." And he's like, "Okay." Well, okay, I guess I'll give you the money then. Even though you didn't... Well, you did deliver Spider-Man. Yeah, he got her Spider-Man. Or she got Spider-Man. His driver's there. He's like, you're going to give me a raise. Or I'm going to kill you in your sleep too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could just do that? <laughs> I didn't realize that was an option. Yeah. Uh, so, then we see the Lifetime original movie where Spider-Man goes to Flash Thompson's room. And he's like, Flash Thompson, I'm so sorry for all the trouble I caused you. You're so big and strong and great and... Uh, you know, and then oh my God. the X-Men are all laughing at him, especially Wolverine. 
And uh, the Lifetime original movie, Caught in the Spider's Web, the Flash Thompson story. We'll be right back. Yes. <laughs> that's, Perfect. That's great. Yep. And, uh, and that's Spider-Man's life is, you know, I try to do the right thing, and I, they make a movie making fun of me. Yeah. Well. Talk about what an asshole I am. And uh, Kitty breaks up with me over it. You're right. No, she just thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> so it's like, they're laughing at you. I, I, I can't see you right now. That's what they're all going to do. They're all going <laughs> to. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we cut to a little later. Spider-Man's fighting the Ringer, who is an old 616 villain. Uh -huh. Okay. He, I, I enjoy his powers. He, he throws rings. rings. Oh. I love... He must the, be good at carnivals. I love Ringer. I feel like this guy has to be a Bendis board analog character. Because mm. he goes, I'm the Ringer! Straight up! I'm from Waldorf, Maryland! <laughs> <laughs> and so goes, what does that even mean? Who cares? Is it cool to be from Maryland? <laughs> Waldorf represent! Yeah, that, that's it! <laughs> it's like, what? And there's somebody in the comments like, that's me! <laughs> I'm the guy from the Venice board who kept re referring to himself in the third person and the fact that I'm from Waldorf, Maryland. That's awesome. <laughs> <sighs> he goes, you know, and, and, and you know, Ringer's an asshole and he's a braggart and he's, yep. you know, Spider-Man's got this ring that's like constricting around him and it's hurting him. Kitty shows up in her new costume. She has no superhero name. I'm oh. going to establish it later, but it doesn't matter. Then eventually she'll be Shadow Cat. Yeah, she should right. be the Wraith. Right? Oh. Something. She does become something like the that. Spectre. Ringer, of course, accuses Spider-Man of being a mutant because he's palling around with one. The, pff, and, the dirty uh, mutie. Oh. The dirty mutie. Yeah. And Ringer doesn't like mutants. No. He's a racist from Waldorf, Maryland. <laughs> Kitty defeats the Ringer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, Spider-Man and Kitty beat the Ringer and uh, uh Spider-Man's missing his shirt? Yeah, well he's getting like crushed by the rings, so mm. Kitty uses her phasing powers to ri to phase Peter out of the rings, but also phases him out of his shirt. Oh. And he's like, "You phased me out of my shirt." She's like, "Lucky me." <laughs> Cuz he's jacked. Right. Kitty then takes his wallet. I think she took his wallet. <laughs> Oh, the ringer's wallet. Ah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> right. Peter's for some no. reason. I don't know why. <laughs> and she goes, this is Anthony Davis from Medina County, Ohio. Oh, and he's then, not even from Maryland. Spider-Man's like, what the hell? He's not even from Maryland. <laughs> what a weird lie to make up. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, I, I'm trying to hide my identity. Yeah, or, or he moved to Ohio, and that's what it says on his ID, but yeah. he's originally from Waldorf, Maryland. Yes. He's got to really uh, represent. It's smart because... You know, people are going to wonder, where's this guy from? Right. And if he doesn't tell them, then that's just going to make them curious and start digging. That's right. So you, you throw so you him gotta, off yeah. the scent. Yeah. Yeah. See, he's 12 steps ahead. Mm hmm That's weird that Kitty, like, <laughs> found that out and yelled it. Yeah. I don't believe this guy's from Waldorf, that's Maryland. right. I've been to Waldorf, Maryland, yeah. and they are a bunch of nice people. Yeah, they're Not good people. rotten apple among them. That's right. They hide in a warehouse, they make out, and then uh, she phases through him while they're making oh. out. And he's like, uh... Did she's she like, almost kill him? No, no, no. She just she just used her. She's really good at using her powers. Right. Uh, but he's like, that's freaky. And she's like, I just I felt like this wasn't gonna stop, and I knew my rides here, and I gotta go, and I gotta end the conversation. Oh. And he's like, don't do that anymore. Yeah, that's weird. That's it? very weird. And she's like, oh my god, I freaked him out. Are we gonna break up now? What? So then she goes. To Is the, she just floating? Yeah. Well, you know, the the blackbird does that. It has a thing. It has a something. thing. We just didn't want to draw it. Yeah. So uh, she goes to the mansion. She runs into Wolverine. Wolverine tries to stab her with a knife. While she was like escaping, she accidentally set off the launch sequence for the Blackbird, which went back uh, and actually looked for uh, Spider-Man. <clears throat> it went to the warehouse, like back to the warehouse. Yeah. And when it couldn't find him, it's like, oh, oh, where do I go? What do I do? Yeah, because the because the the Blackbird has the same. It's an AI, and it imprints it onto Kitty, and it has the same insecurities as <laughs> she does. <laughs> but no, uh, so basically, the, the long and the short of it is, Kitty gets kidnapped. Why? I don't and understand. And seemingly everyone in the X Men right. also is kidnapped they all, already. No. So and replaced. Well. Because uh, Wolverine just, just tried to stab her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, what? Yeah, shapeshifters. Yeah, shapeshifters. Yeah, okay. So, oh, no, Kitty's... scrolls! No, it's not scrolls. So, she gets taken away. And uh, meanwhile, Peter goes back to his house and he runs into Aunt May, who's all dolled up. And he's like, What are you doing? Are you going on a date? And she's like, No, I'm just meeting some friends for work. And he's like, Well, have fun. So, she leaves. Hmm. Uh, Peter sees the, you know, the blackbird like flying around yeah so he goes back to the warehouse he goes to the blackbird and he's like what's going on did you forget something he gets onto the blackbird he goes in the door opens the door closes and then it just launches him 
Oh. And he's like, okay, I guess I'm going to Westchester <laughs> or the sun. <laughs> <laughs> it lands at Westchester. He gets out. Kitty's there waiting for him. And he's like, what's up? S- spider Man sense goes off. Kitty tases him. He's knocked out. And uh, Kitty morphs into Ultimate Deadpool. Oh. oh, okay. Ultimate Deadpool is joined by Reavers. Uh, not the Firefly kind, but rather this is just a, the name for them. But they're cyborgs. I mean, they work. do look like they have been uh, oh yeah cut on and experimented. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but they're just like, they're anti-mutant robot cyborgs that work with Deadpool to kill mutants. Oh, because he's uh, a mutate. Oh. Yeah, well, uh, he's usually a mutate. This is the 1610 universe, so it's like, who the fuck knows? He's or anything. cares? Right. So, yeah. Deadpool. Ultimate Deadpool. Ultimate Deadpool. What? what? And people were like... What? Deadpool? Crazy. So, uh... And he's a jerk? And he's a jerk. He's a villain, like he was when he first started. Yeah. So... Throwback. Yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta start off the story, and then he can can become a lovable goofball. Exactly. So, uh... All the X-Men and Spider-Man are recovered. They're in a plane. They are dumped out of the plane and dropped onto an island. Oh. Uh, Is that a nice island? It is. It's a tropical island. By the way, (laughs) Krakoa. It's huh. Krakoa? It is Krakoa. That's oh. amazing. Yeah. Huh. Now, Krakoa, of course, had originally been the man who was an island. Yeah. The, the island that walks like a man. Yeah. And they had a critical adventure, adventure there. And, yeah. in fact, in Ultimate X-Men, they had had a adventure on Krakoa already. Oh. Uh, so, now they're back. And back to Krakoa. Back to Krakoa. But I mentioned that because, hey, Krakoa's kind of relevant, too. Oh. Yeah. Krakoa. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so Spider-Man uh, arrives on this island. He bumps into a Reaver cyborg that, t- that attacks him. Oh, no. This is a hunting island? It's a hunting island. It's the Why most dangerous game. Why did they just game. kill them? Because it's being televised. Oh. Yes. By Roxxon? No, Roxxon is stupid and can't handle it. No, this is, this is Mojo World. God damn it. Oh. Mojo is the analog for a TV executive who in the main universe is an alien or an interdimensional being mm-hmm. who is obsessed with ratings and interdimensional uh, broadcasts and sure. scenarios. Uh, in this, it's just a fat guy. Because <laughs> right. Mojo's big and fat and ugly. I yep. see. So, anyway, uh, Spider-Man teams up with the X-Men to fight these these, these Reavers. Yeah. Uh, they, they all, you know, join one by one until they're ultimately all put together. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, you know, Deadpool arrives with another army of Reavers to announce, like, I'm Deadpool, you're the stars of this, like, new hit reality show that's made uh, in international waters. It's like, Krakoa <laughs> is an island that's, that right. has no jurisdiction, no one has any jurisdiction over there, right. so we can... We can murder mutants on TV. Once we get you here, we can do whatever we want. Exactly. Yeah. And they have a cover story where they're like, we didn't go to Westchester, New York, and attack these people and kidnap them and bring them to our island. No, they were flying in international airspace, and we we recovered them there. Mm. So uh, all... Kidnapped them there. Yeah. But it's international yeah. airspace. It's yeah, fun. exactly. All bets are off. But it's all set up like, you know, like, like Survivor. You know, it, it's a play on, on reality yeah. TV, because yeah. that was very big when this was coming out. Yes. And yeah. so it's just... It's being broadcast everywhere. Everyone gets to see like the the eradication of these of these mutants. Right. And of course, it's made by like racist like mutant hating people. You know, it's, right. it's anti mutant propaganda. Yeah, well, and I hope they this think pay per view. Otherwise, like, are they going to get sponsors or something? Right. I think yeah. they definitely have sponsors, but it you must know. be pay per view. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they think Spider-Man's a mutant. They mistaken identity, it, it, or they just don't really care. They don't really care. Deadpool right. says something like, "Oh, Spider-Man two bonus." Ah. Like, that's cool. And when Spider-Man is seen with them, you know, commentators are kind of like, is Spider-Man a mutant oh, also? Is, mutant? is that what's going on here? Right. And I love Spider-Man because he's like, I shouldn't even be here. I'm not even a mutant. And Kitty's like, uh, stop saying that, please. It really bothers me. And oh. he's like, I'm sorry. I don't mean it like that. I'm just right. saying, like, this is weird. Right. I just mean I'm not supposed to be here. Yes. Because I'm not a mutant. Because I'm not She's like, you. You oh, are supposed you, to be here. Well, no. It's more like no, I wasn't sorry. a target. That's, that, you know, that uh, came out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> There's a moment where you're I don't belong yeah. here. No. no. Damn it. Mm-hmm. Because you don't saying either. that you belong here. Not, there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying. It's... So you I'm see... saying I shouldn't be hunted like a dog. Right. Right. But Damn neither should it. you. Oh, neither should you. So Kitty and Peter, Spider-Man, are hiding. Yeah. But of course, there's cameras on them. And he's just like, are they really filming this? Is that what's going on here? This is messed up and crazy. <laughs> I hate this place. We should call Nick Fury. 
Uh, so, you know, she Nick was, is like, he said my name on TV. Yeah. No, she's she's going to use his name. And he goes, oh, so don't use my name. And she goes, don't break up with me. Oh. And he's like, okay. What? what? I love it. He goes, what? Listen. And she goes, well, you're mad. He's like, yeah, I'm mad. I'm. We're all mad. It's. <laughs> we shouldn't be here. Stop being crazy and let's just work on this, okay? No. Oh, he says stop being crazy? Yeah. Oh, that's not... That's not that. good. Well, he goes, don't be nuts. Oh. Maybe it's don't be nuts, I'm not going to break up with you. Or like, well, don't yeah. be nuts, you're great. I, I, yeah, I, probably. You think I'm nuts? Oh my God. I do now. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but, you know. So so they, they hug and stuff. Oh. You know, people are filming it. Uh, yeah. Gross. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It's, it's a, a big fight. It's a big fight that, no, that never ends, and they win. Yeah. Uh, when they unmask Deadpool, they reveal that it's a Professor X, but it's not really Professor X. It's just shape shifting, and uh, uh, so they. Oh yes, yeah, Professor X there or they. Professor have X it. has been kidnapped, and oh. he is being held prisoner by Mojo, and. Their whole announcement is like, you know, this guy is a phony and he's bullshit. This we're guy's gonna, a big phony. And we're going to kill him after, like, he, we're going to make him watch his X-Men be murdered and then uh, we're going to kill him too. Yikes. This is hilarious. Professor X is also jacked. Yeah. It's like they can't oh, yeah. draw someone that no. is not muscly. Oh, uh, and look at Mojo. Other than Mojo. <laughs> Who is a gross blob monster. Yes. But, um, like, that's, his, that's, his, that's you know, that's the character. Bow or nothing. How did he capture Professor X? Right. Uh, he used the element of surprise. What? He has mind control powers. How did you surprise him? I don't know. I mean, like, Spider-Man has a spider sense, but he still ignored it because he saw a familiar face. It yeah. could be the same thing. I mean, it's a young Professor X. Right. But, uh, you know... They, they, I feel like you got to show that. If, you, if Professor agree. X is kidnapped, that yeah, can't be Yeah, but no, you screen. don't show that because then no one will ask unless, you know, it's Ethan. No, it begs, the question. It, it begs the, the question. it does beg the question. But he's also, like, he's doing that weird clockwork orange thing where his yeah. eyes are being forced yeah, over that is happening. Yeah, maybe they sedated so, him. I don't know. Presumably, they, like are using something on him. No, they, no, they're just holding him open. Like, they're just holding yeah. his eyes That's open. That's the, it's only the eye holding open part of Clock of Orange. Yes. It's not anything I, I else can't, uh, the brainwashing. If I can't blink, I can't use my mental powers. Yeah. So they're, they're, they got the upper hand. Spider-Man unmasks the real Deadpool and reveals oh. that he, he has no face. He's wearing like a shell. Oh, his skull is... I don't effed know. up. Through a straw. His brain is exposed? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so he has a skull. He doesn't have any skin. Mm -hmm. He does have a skull and, I guess, musculature. Yes. But there's also a hole in the skull so you can see his brain. Through yeah, it. yeah. So he's a weird 50s, like, sci-fi drawing. Yeah, there's a lot going on. It's a really weird decision. I remember when they announced Ultimate Deadpool, people were like, yeah, Deadpool. The use of him and the reveal here, nobody liked it. The audience was just like, that sucks. Like, why would you do that? Why? And it's like, because Deadpool's gross looking and this is like a different, this is a, this a, a play different, on that. different way to be gross looking. Yeah. Like, you could just pick something. Don't have his, like, brain also exposed. But he looks like a scary, like, you know, Martian or something. I don't know. It's horrible. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Professor X's, like, inhibitor collar that he's wearing throughout the adventure with Mojo is, like, Opened? Yeah, Ethan is inhibitor collar. Oh, they put an inhibitor collar on him. Oh yeah, that's how they that's how they got it. That's how they got him. I Maybe guess they, they snuck sleeping. into the mansion and just put the yeah, collar on him. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, he's sleeping. He can't be. He can't be. Yeah, how do you just get into the? Well, you you you, you impersonate another X Man. I guess know? they use they use the shape shifting powers. Yeah. yeah. Or is it shape shifting? Do they establish how it works? They they don't. Oh. It's just it's just another convenient contrivance. Is it a say. thing that is? This clear helmet thing does it can project right? other faces. Oh no, I didn't think it was no. actual Deadpool that oh. was unmasked. No, it wasn't. Oh, oh, you mean the face? No, no, I mean well, you like, said Deadpool was unmasked. Yeah, and it was, and it was Professor, Professor X, X, but and then he was unmasked again. Yeah, but it wasn't really Professor X. That was a that was a smoke screen. That was, yeah, that was more. But was it the same physical body? But that yeah. was Deadpool. As this guy who is yes. Prob okay, all right. Oh, okay. so yeah, I bet it's just the mask is yeah is able to be different faces. Yeah, but yeah. then they were also impersonating body shapes yeah. and people. Oh well, that oh and claws. No, 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 oh. he had a knife. Oh, he didn't use his Wolverine claws to attack her. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, but he was like the shot, the size, the shape, and the look of Wolverine. Mm -hmm. It's not like it was Deadpool with a Wolverine. Well, head. maybe well, he, he was uh, kidding. He was her size too. Oh, yeah, was, yeah, that's right. Same with Storm. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, they don't. They don't address it. They don't address it. Oh, never addressed. Never explained. Yeah. That's weird. That's the second thing. I know. The Spider-Man, the evil Spider-Man, was also yes. never addressed. That's right, and that bothered me. Yeah. Don't worry, this never gets referred to again. Nobody likes this. This is a, this is a, this is a, a, a blemish. A, a black a, mark. Yeah. On. This is a bad book, 
and this is just serves part of the I mean, story. It's fun. You, you, the, the fun part is watching Peter and uh, and Kitty interact. It's watching Spider-Man yeah, go on an X-Men adventure. Never it serves the story, it. like I said, yeah. for for Spider-Man and, and Kitty. Kitty Pride's but really who gives a shit? Like it's Spider-Man fighting with the X-Men, fighting you know, stupid cyborg people. I would say nameless, but they do have names like Bone Breaker. <laughs> they just don't matter. They're the worst names. Yeah. So you know. Uh, because Xavier's collar is opened, he's able to use his powers, and he says, "Now let's have a let's have a frank and earnest conversation about your opinion about mutants." Uh, and then you hear a blood curdling scream from out from from the darkness, and the Professor X just rolls himself back out of the darkness, and they're like, right. "Okay, well that was normal. Let's just move on." <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, Professor X is like, "Mr. Parker, well done. Thank you so much for helping out my team." And he's like, "Yeah, could you give me a ride home? Because I am fucked." Yeah. Meanwhile, Deadpool didn't die. Uh, they 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 it looked like he exploded, oh. but he didn't. He didn't explode. So, Bendis threatens that Deadpool will return in this book. He doesn't. <laughs> oh, sweet. Peter oh, gets an X-Men shirt to take home. Yeah. Oh. Well, whenever he loses his shirt, it's like, okay, here you go. Or he has no civilian clothes. But he's like, he goes, he goes he's going home and he's like, it's four in the morning. <laughs> I have to tell her I'm Spider-Man now. Aunt May? Yeah. Yeah, she's going to be like, oh. It's four in the morning. Where you been? Oh, but I'm guessing she didn't come home yet either because she had a hot date. What? No, she was out, she was meeting friends. Yeah, friends. Uh-huh. So Pete is walking with Kitty, and she's like, I'll go with you. And he's like, no, this is a family That's thing. That's not going to make it and better. She's like, no, I'll be like a buffer. It'll be okay. So they walk in together. The house is empty. He's like, oh, my God. She must be out looking for me. There's a voicemail. He checks the voicemail. Hey, Peter, it's Aunt May. Pick up. Oh, you're probably asleep already. Okay, so don't be mad, but... I'm not coming home tonight. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm with a doctor. You can write this number down. His name's Miles Warren. He's a doctor. Oh. And, yeah, it's like, Miles Warren, no! Aunt May's fucking the jackal! <laughs> but, like, it, it doesn't quite go in that direction. Ah. But uh, I love Kitty, because she goes, hey, your Aunt May's getting a groove on. And he's uh, like, please don't say that. What? He's <laughs> like, this is a disaster. She's like, you dodged a bullet. And he's like, wee wee <laughs> Like, no! Interesting. Yeah. And the last. What he should be thinking is free house. Right. No. Yeah. We can do everything. It's four in the we morning. They're exhausted. And make waffles and watch bad TV. Guys, let's do it! <laughs> 20 minutes before she gets home. Oh, we could have sex. Oh. Damn it. Next time. The next story arc He's is. He's what? 16, 15? Yeah. yeah. 20 minutes is plenty of time. Well, that's very true. <laughs> Vampires. Vampires. How about vampires? How, how about, about vampires? How yeah. about Morbius? Oh yeah. What? Gonna wrap what? off this. I'm sorry. X-Men next time story with, with a vampire story. I'm guessing it's just are we, like. Are we gonna talk about this? We're gonna talk about vampires. Yeah, it's a whole it's right, it's issue or two. It's a whole two. story. Yeah, it's a whole story. Arc. Blade is in it. Blade. Yay. The idea here Ultimate is Ultimate Blade. <laughs> Ultimate Blade. Uh, a few months ago, Spider-Man was swinging by. Uh, there's a dude who's just shooting a guy in an alley. Spider-Man swings in, kicks that guy. That guy, Blade. Yeah. He's like, oh. what the hell are you doing? Yeah. Tries to help the other guy. Other guy, Vampire. Tries to bite Spider-Man. Spider- uh, uh, Blade stabs guy with sword. Oh. Sp- yeah, turns the Spider-Man's just right in the middle of a Blade movie. Just, boop, yep. just blundered into this Blade adventure. I blundered into a Blade adventure. Yep. And he's just like, if you bump into me ever again, I'm going to eat your heart. Spider-Man's like, holy shit. <laughs> Whoa. A lot of stuff just happened. So then we cut to today. The broadcast of Spider-Man hugging Kitty. Yeah. Now they're a couple. They're going to they're they're switch their names couple. together. Oh, no. They're the benefer of uh, superheroes. <laughs> what are they yeah. going to be? They don't say. We never get it. Spride. Kitty no, man. Yeah. Spitty. Kidder man. No. See, that's why they don't do it. <laughs> So anyway, they're talking about how they're the they're the they're the hot new couple in in, in uh, you know in Tinseltown. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Ben Urich, ace reporter for the Daily Bugle, has an article that he's working on that J. Jonah Jameson is kiboshing because uh, vampires. Ben Urich's like, I interviewed a woman. She said she was bit by a vampire. <laughs> J. Jonah Jameson's like, Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> That's uh, a story. We're not running that. Yeah, we're not running that. Yeah. He's like, uh, There's spider people and there's X Men. He's like, Uh huh. Yeah, and have you ever heard any story of vampires yet? Right, I'm writing one right well, now. It was the first one. Yeah, and it's always someone's got to be first because it's garbage. Yep, and all of it goes. I'm not printing this. 
Robbie's like, it's half a story at best. Like, go get more information. Yeah. Peter's like, are there really vampires? And he's like, no, nah, they're right. It's not, it's not, it's not good. And he, and he gives Peter the story. You can read it. Peter reads the story. There's this woman. She's in a library. She meets this dude. The dude woos her using his vampire mind powers. She kisses him. And then they, he, he bites her. Uh, ben interviews her. She has the bite marks on her neck. And she's just like, something happened to me. And maybe it was vampires. That, that's the story. That's like nothing. That there's nothing there. So, uh, Spider- That's terrible. Peter bumps into Mary Jane. Mary Jane's upset because, headline news, right. Spider-Man and Kitty Pride. Spider-Man's got a new girlfriend. She's like, how long have you been de- seeing this girl? Like, I guess she's perfect for you. Do you Are you in love with her? What's oh going on God. here? Oh, uh, you know. Didn't you know I was saving myself for you? Yeah, she didn't say that. She's, he's just like, it's just, it's weird. It's just, it's it's weird. It was sudden. She's like, well, what am I supposed to do here? Like, stop being, stop pretending to be my friend because you're not my friend. My friend would have told me, you're not my friend. You're just, you're just sneaking around. You're bullshit. Mm. Oh, he goes, oh, and watch out for vampires. <laughs> oh, vampires are a thing now. Oh, by the way, that, she leaves. He says to himself, he's like, <laughs> oh, yeah, and watch out for vampires. This is my life. My life is Dumb. totally normal. So Ben goes to re-interview the lady that he talked to, and she is now dressed like a vampire. He's like, well, I turned into a vampire. I, mean, I, she's I saw the movie Modern yeah. Vampires. Yes, and she's like, what up? And he's like, oh, and they make out. And then she turns to someone she... she he can't see. She goes, please, I'm so hungry. And he's like, feed. And he's like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> she bites him. Well, and ben, now Ben Urich can be a vampire. Ben Urich's missing. Spider-Man knows that there's vampires. He went right. to chasing a lead. Yeah, he knows Ben Urich was on, hot on the vampire trail. Hot on the vampire trail. trail. So spider Man's swinging through the city. Ugh, he I sees... know this is dumb, but I love this detail of sp- <laughs> the tag yeah. on the back of his shirt sticking out the collar. Yep. Yeah. Peter's a dork. And or he changes hastily. Yes. Either way, Peter Parker would absolutely have the tag sticking up. Well, the point that it happens to everybody. Yes, everybody so has like, this problem. Once in a while, happens to Peter too. Yes. Uh, Spider Sense doesn't save you from fashion faux pas. That's right. It should, That's though. That's you on a shirt. So Spider-Man's swinging by, and a giant wolf monster blasts oh, out Oh, now we got werewolves. Where, no, 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 no. Vampires can turn into wolves. Oh. This is actually a thing. Vampires can turn into bats, wolves, mist. Yep. Sure. You you want underworld? No. Let's just limit it to vampires, all right? <laughs> no, I didn't want that, but I also don't want this. So the wolf <laughs> is falling. It then bursts into bats. Those bats fly Explodes back into bats. through the window that it crashed through, turns back into a wolf. That's Spider-Man cool. chases the wolf and finds the woman with Ben Urich, and he separates the two of them and then is attacked by this big scary wolf. He kicks the wolf and then Morbius shows up. And he's Morbius like, shows up? Yeah. Morbius yeah. is not the wolf. Oh. Morbius Morbius is a, uh, well, by this point, Morbius has been an anti-hero for a while. Yeah. But at this point, you know, Morbius was a villain when he first was introduced. Right. So as Ultimate Universe, we're going back. We're going back, but not too far back. Because no, now he's way. not necessarily a bad guy. <laughs> now, this, is a, this is Morbius fighting the other vampire. Oh. So Morbius is fighting the vampire wolf. Spider-Man tries to web it. The wolf turns into mist. Right. You can't web mist. You can't web mist. It turns into, it's like true form, which looks more like uh, Nosferatu, yeah, but like kind of bat Nosferatu. creature. Yeah, he's a, yeah, but he's like a vampire. And he's right. yeah, he knows Morbius. He's like, I don't care who your father is. I'm going to kill you and your whole bloodline. And, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> bunch, of, bunch of bullshit yeah. that like, Ben is never going to play yeah, up vampire and use again. It's just yeah. what vampires Spider-Man's say to like, each other. like, I'm not supposed to be here. This, this you guys have a, uh, a history, clearly. Clearly there's I'm something going on. Yeah. I'm just going to take Ben and get out of here. Yeah, right. Ben's really from should. my adventure. I'm just going to take him. Oh, you no, really he should was have bitten. What am I doing? Exactly. I have to kill him now. Right. Do I stake him? Yeah. Well, the, right. the woman's screaming about Ben Urich being her food. Uh, <laughs> Morbius grabs the woman, stakes her. She, you know, bursts into skeletons. Oh. And then Spider-Man's like, okay, no. He grabs Ben, he leaves. Okay. Morbius like, wait. He's like, I'm, I'm out. Yeah. That's it for me. Spider-Man goes to the hospital. He, he's like, I, you, this man was bit by a vampire. Vampires. Vampires are real. And they're like, all the doctors are like, well, he just goes, my, my friend doesn't yeah. help. You got to help me. You got to help me. And he's like, what'd you do to him? And he's like, I didn't do anything. This is Ben Yurick, the reporter. You got to help him. And he's like, what bit him? A vampire. No, please be serious. Yeah, but look, look what bit him though? He, the, the doctor <laughs> goes, stop it. <laughs> No, what uh, happened to him? He goes, I'm telling you, he just grabs the dog. He's like, I'm a Spider-Man. There's vampires, okay? I don't know what to do. I'm real and also vampires. I love that he's just using Ben's argument as well. Like, we have Spider-Man. Yeah. Why can't you believe in Why vampires? Why can't you believe vampires? This is, this is far-fetched. And they're like, please, there's people. There's sick people here. 
stop screaming and stop using your spider powers. You're upsetting them. Yeah, he's he like, webs a guard. Yeah. Well, because, oh. you know, security get involved because he, he got costed a doctor. Yeah. And he's just like, please, just, 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 just help him. So Ben's right. admitted. Uh, while he's there, you know, Morbius shows up and he's like, I know that it hurts, but I'm going to end your, I'm going to end your pain. So he's like, ah. and he gets his, gets his fangs. Do it. Spider-Man's waiting for him. Yep. Swings in, kicks him in the face, and he's just, you know, he's kicking on him. And, uh, <laughs> and, and Morbius is like, if you want to help your friend, you got to stop stopping me from biting this guy. Right. And he's like, if you heard him, I swear to God. But, you know, Morbius like, no, you don't get it, man. I'm not like them. I'm a different kind of vampire. I'm Morbius the living vampire. Of an unvampire. Yeah. I'm a D-vampire. I was going to say D-vampire. <laughs> he's just stand back and let me help your friend. And he's like, mm. So he's like, okay. Like, the reality is, the lady who was bit, she was bit days ago. It's too late for her. It's That's too late why for her, but her. I can stop it. Like... I, I, I made a promise on my mother's grave to, to avenge her and, and, and fight my father. He's like, who's your dad? And he's like, Dracula. And he's like, okay. Uh, you don't want to tell me, don't tell me. Right, it's fine. fine. You, but, could uh, just, you could just say I don't want to say it. Right. Yeah. You don't you have, have to, to make, make things up. up fairy yeah, you're tales. dead, Dracula. Right. Is that hard to believe? There's vampires, but... Uh, you Damn know, it. He goes, stand back. Use my logic against me. <laughs> right. He goes, look, it looks worse than it does. Trust me. And he goes... And the Spider-Man's like, no, I'm not going to let you no, bite him. It seems like you're going to kill him. Yeah, it, it, this is insane. So then, uh, while he's fighting Morbius, uh, a bunch of other vampires appear. Oh, God. And and they attack him. It's a big, stupid vampire It's fight. a big, stupid vampire fight. One of them even fight. goes wrong. And, and the hospital's just like, <laughs> all right, I guess vampires do exist. Yeah, right? No, conveniently, nobody there sees it. They all run away. They Well, the oh, lights go out, and then they leave, and then... And okay, they see, it's a hospital. They're backup generators. They, they see it. They're yeah. like, oh my god. So Spider-Man fights these vampires. One of the vampires bites Spider-Man. Oh. And drinks his blood. And oh. then throws up and goes, your blood is tainted. It's diseased. And Spider-Man's like, you killed me. You turned me into a vampire now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so then Morbius shows up and they have a big stupid vampire fight. They all explode. Yep. Vamp- and, and Morbius is just like looking at him and he goes you stupid asshole vampire you murdered me I'm dead and he's like shut up and he lifts his mask and he smells the, the, the puncture marks yeah. in his throat and he goes no your blood's diseased there's something wrong with you it, it, it doesn't turn you right. like other people there's something in your blood lucky you right and is that no- like mutants can't turn into vampires right maybe except Jubilee <laughs> except for Jubilee no mutants <laughs> yeah no mutants can turn into vampires so yeah. was a vampire yeah, they can be vampires. No, no, they can be vampires. It's just that Spider-Man has, and it, it, like maybe it's, you know, it's the it's the genetic change, but you know, it's in the in the original universe, it's the radiation. radiation. Right. But uh, but yeah, he, but it's not here. He's not no. radiation. He has spider powers. Spiders can't become vampires. Just, Everybody knows that. No, no. Spiders are immune to vampires vampirism. Vampires suck blood. Spiders eat your goo after yeah, they inject you they with suck venom. Your, your vin- totally your different kind of suck. That's right. So uh, when's anyway. the last time you saw a spider vampire? Never. I rest my case. Boom. Anyway, so while Spider-Man was being uh, a, a bitch, crying about being bit by vampires, <laughs> Morbius bit Ben or sucked out the bad blood. Or like, I did the thing. I that did I, the thing that I was going to do that, that you stopped do. me from doing, and he's okay. And I love it because he, did, you know, the sun's up, and he goes, "What'd you do?" And he goes, "I saved him." And he goes, "Are you okay?" And he goes, "No, <laughs> no, this sucks for me." And he goes, "What's your name?" And he goes, "It's Morbius." And if we ever bump into each other again, let's both pray you've grown the fuck up. And then leaves. <laughs> uh, no, great. hey, no, no. You're a vampire. That's, that's fucked up. That's fucking weird. That's I don't not expect right. me to be cool with it. <laughs> it's not okay. It's not okay. It's, it's not, not cool. You were suddenly okay cool. with it back in the apartment when you needed to save your friend. You're not okay with it when I save your friend? Here's the right. thing. People know Spider-Man exists. He's been on TV. People had time to get used to it. Yeah. I never heard of vampires until today. Well, I heard of them. But well, in like popular yeah, but culture. it wasn't real. So you're going to need to give me some time. That's it's not right. that I'm a child. It's no. that this is messed up. <laughs> Anyone would have had that reaction. <laughs> of screaming their head off and saying, you killed me. <laughs> so Spider-Man is, uh, he's wearing a turtleneck in the summer or whatever. He's in school. He's, yep. he's, uh, he's dissecting a frog. He won't do it. Mary Jane has conveniently forgotten about their little argument before. Mm, she got She's over like, it. Hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm trying, trying to talk to you. And he goes, I don't want to do this. And she's like, what's going on? And he's like, don't worry about it. And she's like, no, come on, tell me. He's like, okay. <laughs> and he shows her the fucking puncture marks in his throat. And she's like, Kitty Pride did that to you? Right. <laughs> no, she does not immediately jump. She's just like, she has this horrible look at his face. And he goes, I know. Daredevil told me I was too young to do this. 
I got bit by a fucking vampire. <laughs> My life is fucking weird. Yep. I, I can't handle it. I'm 16 years old. I'm not supposed to be bit by vampires. I'm not supposed to see this shit. And then he just breaks down and they hug. Oh. And the teacher's like, get back to dissecting hey. your frogs. <laughs> yeah, because if they're like any teacher I've ever had, uh, they're humorless dicks. Right. So then there's another annual. Oh. It's the last one. Oh. Jean DeWolf. Remember her? Oh, Wait, yeah. does this connect? No. Well, no, that was it. Vampire story. Vampire story. That's that's the end of the vampire story. Some, yeah. Some, sometimes Ben Yard got bit by a vampire, and then Morbius fixed him. The end. Sometimes there's one-off Spider-Man adventures. They gotta they gotta put him somewhere. Yeah. So it's especially if I'm this... leading up to the biggest event of right. his career. Okay. Right. So uh, you know, Jean DeWolf. Jean DeWolf. Jean DeWolf. Now she's uh, she's doing stuff. Yeah. Oh, Mo she was she was bad, right? She was bad. Yeah. She works yeah. for the Kingpin. Yeah. Uh, Moon Knight thought dead was in a coma. Jean DeWolf goes and checks on him. He's gone. <gasps> Moon Knight's back. Moon Knight. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, Shocker again. Spider Man beats Shocker. Lol. <laughs> Spider Man hands Shocker over to Jean DeWolf because she's like the only cop that, you know, trusts him or likes him. Right. She's like, here you go. So yeah, she meets him on the cop on the inside. Yeah, that's right. Except she's also dirty, so oh no. But he doesn't know that. Right. Yeah. So uh, she. It's dramatic irony. Yeah. She goes, if I gave you information about a bad guy, would you use it? And he's to like, do what? To like do your thing, you know. And he's like, that's not that's not what I do. He goes, um, oh, so you wait until after it's done, like after wait someone's until the crime is already yeah. committed. Wait yeah. until someone's hurt, and then you intercede. And he's like, so we all gotta wait for Spider Man. Oh, oh he, don't play me like that. Yeah, and he's like, okay, well, what do you want me to do? She's like, there's a new guy in town. He's trying to take over the Kingpin's territory. Remember the Hammerhead incident? Well, there's a new guy, Kangaroo. It's an Australian bad guy. In in the original universe, the Kangaroo. Was an Australian bad guy, but he wore a kangaroo suit. This guy's just he has he, he uses his legs. That's just his nickname, the kangaroo. Yep. This guy's this guy's just he lo he He's wears Australian. a fanny pack. Yeah. <laughs> he they call him the kangaroo. I wish. Got a pouch. No, it's way less imaginative. It's just that he's Australian. So, you know, he goes to deal with it. What does that mean? Deal with it? What's he? What's he supposed to do? Well, he's you know he's he's horning it on Kingpin's you know, just, territory. Just, just uh you know just go just stop him. Just beat the crap out of him. Right. Go beat the crap out of him and arre well and we'll arrest him. You know, like he's doing something. We always catch it. We never catch him. You know, we can't catch up to him. We just know where he's gonna be. All right. Cool. Should I also do that to Kingpin and and uh, stop uh, him too? Well, Kingpin had already waited. You know, he hasn't done anything publicly that's bad in a while. He had kind of like expunged his record more or less. <laughs> See, Spider-Man needs to ask more questions because like. Uh, well, I, I don't understand. Isn't it like a crime scene? Like I don't know anything about like evidence. No, so, I agree. Like, like yeah, no, he's he's yeah, a child. Aren't I going and, to taint things? And like they're just gonna be like there. Like I save people. I yeah. don't just attack people. Yeah, like, no, I know. It's wrong. I agree. <laughs> I agree. So Kingpin's having lunch. Uh, he's having a good time. He gets a phone call from Jean DeWolf. She's like, I sent him to the kangaroo. He goes, I'll see you tonight. Oh, like, oh are they? Are they together? Oh. No. She, but she's not Vanessa. No, no. <laughs> well, Kingpin's a bad guy. Yeah. Spider-Man's just sitting there. He's waiting for the, like for something to happen. Mm -hmm. And he's like, this just feels... hanging out on a building. He's like, this feels if you, wrong. If you just yeah. walk by, you see Spider-Man hanging out on a building waiting. Go away. Leave. <laughs> Leave that yeah, block. Nothing good is going to happen Unless there. he's eating a hot dog or something. Yeah. yeah. If he's eating, that's a difference. But if he's just waiting... He's looking at a, at a at a bar, or yeah. If he's fixated in a spot, stay away from there. Stay away from that area. Yeah, you're like you look at him. You just like point and be like the bar. Yeah. And he nods. You're like, but I love man. it because he's like, I'm not gonna break in there and just beat this guy. Like I, I yeah. That's, that's wrong. I had to wait. Right. And then someone gets smashed through a window. He goes, oh, conundrum over. <laughs> okay. He arrives. Daredevil's there. Oh. He goes, oh, far out. It's Daredevil. And Daredevil's, it's you! And then he just runs at Spider-Man. Spider-Man's like, oh. And then he just grabs Spider-Man. He kicks him in the chest. He pulls his shirt up and he just throws him out the window. What? Because you're a stupid kid. Go away. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Spider-Man's like, oh my God. While that's happening, uh, you know, Daredevil's getting his ass kicked because there's yeah. more guys. Yeah. He feels, he, he has his radar sense. Yeah. Punisher's on the roof. Oh no. Dude, this is like a star-studded event. I yeah. Know. So Spider-Man is, you know, he's webbing up all the bad guys that Daredevil kicked the shit out of. Yeah. Punisher fires a grenade launcher at yeah, them. Yeah, it's an RPG. Yep. Uh, we see flashbacks. These flashbacks are like, you know, Daredevil dealing with, like, finding out about this bar, how he did that. He did that by being Matt Murdock. Uh, we find, uh, you know, Punisher is in jail for having been the Punisher before. <laughs> Doing Pun Punisher stuff. Yep. Uh, punishing people. Uh, yep. He He's hurt in a prison fight and then he escapes from the 
hospital he's checked into or yeah. you know whatever and then he's he's back he's punisher and he's back and he's back and he's punishing it up so <laughs> punisher shooting spider-man and daredevil uh moon knight shows up and punches punisher oh god ben why is moon knight there because he just got out of his coma and he's springing into action and now, now here's the thing about punisher that i don't care for that bendis does with punisher i feel like, Pen- like bendis has no regard for punisher mm-hmm. i think bendis thinks punisher is like a crappy character and i, yeah. I appreciate that opinion right. i like punisher i think he's interesting i don't like want to be him <laughs> i don't have his logo like emblazoned logo on, on car. my car yeah. like a lunatic right uh, or a law officer <laughs> right <laughs> There are, there are plenty of stories for Punisher. Mm. I think Garth Ennis says, basically, Punisher was born from the, like, the, the Charles Bronson, like, yeah. cop on the edge movie. Yeah. And that's why he works so well outside of the comic books. Mm-hmm. Um, but, or outside of the main universe. But Bendis is like, fuck Punisher. Like, Punisher, in this, he's, a, he's not a war veteran. He's an he's a ex-cop. Mm. And he's just a psychopath. Yeah. And, like, he never says anything. I love Bendis' Punisher never says a full sentence. Hmm. He either says, you're dirt, or he makes noises. Like, right. Brr. <laughs> Like, he's just a, he's just, <laughs> right. he's just a monosyllabic. He doesn't have an ideology. Neanderthal. He's just a, he's, yeah. he's just, a, he's just an asshole. Yeah. Maybe it's just like, I've, I've had too many people turn my words around on me. Right. I'm not yeah. going to say anything just keep anymore. It, keep yeah. it tight-lipped. <laughs> So you're not supposed to sympathize with this Punisher. No. In any way. No. He's not an anti-hero. Mm-hmm. So, uh... He's just an object for Spider-Man to have to deal with. Exactly. His problem. Exactly. Why... Why are we... Why are we doing another book where, like, oh, all these, like, lesser characters are converging on this yeah. one spot for some reason? Well, like, because we're gonna... Because Ben is gonna play that off later on when the Kingpin does, like, truly emerge. Right. Because, like... No one's doing any lo- any any ongoing Daredevil book, right. and Kingpin is like primarily a Spider-Man villain. Sure. But if I'm going to do the ultimate Kingpin story, you can't not do Daredevil. Mm-hmm. And but also, then what about Moon Knight? You don't need him in there. It's just getting complicated. At this point, nobody's doing anything interesting with Moon Knight. Yeah. So maybe I'll be the guy who's doing yeah. something cool with Moon Knight. Except you're just shoving him, like shoehorning him into this other book. I know. Wow, well, it's just very complicated. Yes. I know. I know. It is complicated. I love it, because then, you know, Moon Knight's fighting Punisher, Spider-Man fights both of them. I'd love yeah. it if the idea was that they just got a whole bunch of superheroes or, you know... Street-level characters. Street-level characters to go to this place. So Kangaroo's just like, New York is not worth it. Yes. Right. That'd be great. Every time like, I try to do Kingpin's anything, plan, yeah. like well, except people he, show Kingpin up. doesn't control... Like, we see the flash... I think the flashbacks are there to show you that that is not as... It is convenient, but not. it's, it's not coordinated. Right. Like, Moon it's Knight just a wakes coincidence. Up. It's a coincidence. That's worse because no, that doesn't worse. make any sense. That's right. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, if you're a comic book fan, you're just enjoying this. It's like, whoa, cool! Look at all yeah, the oh, stuff. Oh, look! And then, and then, cry. Yeah. And then, and then, draw, and then, Punisher comes in and he's all, da, 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 da. Yeah. kaboom! <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I mean, I think it's fun. I mean, I, it's a fun why, fight scene. Yeah, it's a fun yeah. fight scene. Okay. But uh, Spider Man, there's a three way fight with Moon Knight, Punisher, and Spider Man, and the kangaroo's just like, huh? They all forgot about me. And then Daredevil's there. And he's like. I didn't forget. I didn't about forget. You. <laughs> it just hits him in the face of the silly club. We see like a flashback to friggin' Kingpin talking to Kangaroo at lunch, and you basically Kingpin's like, "I'm gonna get you," and when I get you, you're never gonna see it coming. Mm. You're never gonna know where it's coming from. And Kangaroo took that as a sign. He's like, "All right, Kingpin came down here personally. He's clearly scared of me." <laughs> so yeah. Uh, you know, so Kangaroo gets arrested, and Daredevil's there, and he sees Daredevil. Moon Knight leaves. Uh, Punisher's all webbed up. Jean Duel's there to make the arrest, and she turns to the can- to the Kangaroo, and she goes, "He told you you'd never expect where it came from," <laughs> as if to say, like, oh. I, "We he made these heroes do this to get you. You yeah. don't know how powerful or how much how how far reaching Kingpin can be." Right. So she's getting all this ready to go, and um, Spider Man swings down. He's like, "Hey, the police are here. What's up?" He's talking to Gene, and uh, you know he's just like, I just got, uh, I just webbed up Moon Knight and uh, and Punisher too. They're they're a couple of crazies, and she's like, wait, Punisher's here, and he's like, yeah, yeah, he's right up there. And you see, Punisher still has a gun in his hand, and through the sights, he's got Gene or Spider Man. Mm. Can get either one of them. Right, you see both of them. Yeah, and he makes his, you know, his grunting sounds, which I guess is his catchphrase. And he shoots Gene Duel through the oh, chest. Oh, shit. And that's great for us. But for Spider-Man. Yeah, we're like, ah. Yeah, like, good. Yeah. Yeah, God. Spider-Man's her. horrified. Yeah, and he, I, he jumps up. He's just he's grabs like, why'd you do that? <laughs> and he goes, she's a dirty cop. Dirty cop's got to die. 
And Daredevil shows up and he goes, he's right. She, she was a dirty cop. She was. was that doesn't make it right. Heart. Right. But yeah, no. And Moon Knight's like, <laughs> I'm from the moon. <laughs> moon Knight, God damn, God damn it. it, Moon Knight. <laughs> Are we sure that Shang-Chi isn't available? <laughs> but uh, yeah, he goes, wait, what? Yeah, but she seems so she, nice. She seems so nice. And he goes, rumor is she literally sleeps with the kingpin. Which, you know. Yeah. Well, now she's sleeping with the fishes. Now get out of here. Uh, they'll, or they'll arrest you too. And Spider-Man's mm. like, I hate him. I hate this. You suck so much, Daredevil. <laughs> Ultimate Daredevil, you yeah. suck. And also, goes, I hate you, Punisher. You just murdered a woman in front right. of me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you yeah. can't see the blood because no, it makes you very unrealistic because those cops yeah. would have all shot him immediately. Oh, yeah. They like, would, even if they only be had riddled pistols. with bullets. Yes. Yes. So, you know, Spider-Man's just like, this sucks. I hate this world. And he's like, well, congratulations. You're another day older. Way to go. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. What a self-righteous dick. Thanks. So Moon Knight goes home. Daredevil's waiting for him. And Daredevil's like, listen, man. What if we had a team? He picks Moon Knight to team up with? Oh, it's Slim Pickens. <laughs> also, like... Spider-Man's a dumbass, and uh, Punisher's in jail again. Yeah. You're crazy about religion. It's mm -hmm. the wrong religion. Right. It's yeah, Egyptian. but I can work with that. the right one. Exactly. Yeah. But I'm willing to forgive you around that. Yeah. That's, good. That's Catholic of me. I can right. work on you. Yeah. Yeah. Because I can guarantee right now, you know, Kingpin's laughing it up in his palatio estate. He's having right. a great we time. go after him. And we see, like, where Kingpin is, and he's in his apartment, and he's it's night, and he's in his bed, and he's just, he just has this horrible look on his face. It's yeah. just, like, so sad. Like, you know, Daredevil assumes he's just laughing it up because that's what villains do. Yeah. Yeah. And, but like, no, his girlfriend was just killed. His girlfriend was just killed. Yeah. Now who's he going to sleep with? Yeah. Certainly not his wife. And it's his fault. Like, it's he his got fault. her killed. Punisher wasn't just going to shoot her for no reason. That's right. Like, that's right. And that's the wrap up for everything up to the Clone Saga, which is just like Peter and Mary Jane. Clearly, there's something still there, but he's dating Kitty now. Also, right. these street level characters are getting together. Also, Nick Fury, he's protecting Peter, but he's got a backup plan. He's got a backup to take plan. Him down. Take him right. down. Also, Maybe this is be a contingency. also, vampires, they don't come into play. Yeah, that's but, the thing hey, that does just happen. But listen, may I interest you in some vampires? <laughs> While we're at it, vampires. And Punisher. Stupid idiot. Cool. <laughs> Plus, Lama X -Men. Oh, yeah. There are two. They're, they're integral. Yeah. Plus, Moon Knight Daredevil. Yeah. Who are teaming up. Yeah, he mentioned that one. That, are they are they going to be the Defenders? Is that what's happening? Well, before that, the Defenders used to be a team that consisted of like Namor, Hulk, Silver Surfer, Doctor Strange, Valkyrie. Oh. That was the Defenders. Oh. Though those were Marvel Knights. Oh. It's just that nobody called it that. That wasn't like a team. They, it they, was more of Time Bomb. That was more like a publishing initiative <laughs> where oh. we we put we took our street level characters and we like reinvigorated them by giving them to like unexpected talent okay so uh, they didn't really have like a name I believe uh, they call it the warriors oh. you know they're <laughs> <laughs> the clone saga is its own thing I'm very happy about that like this is this is just like here's what was happening in Spider-Man at that time right you know head of rocks on who gives a shit so we're sayable nobody cares so <laughs> the next part is the clone saga and it's not devoid of the story that's going on but it really doesn't touch on it well it's it, it is just it takes up it's just like hey storage's going on get the fuck out of the way clones <laughs> clones are gonna happen clones this... reveals new status quos a new direction it was I a mean, great I mean Miles Warren well Miles Warren isn't isn't the same Miles Warren oh right no who's to say well me he's not <laughs> I'm glad we have you here for that. Yeah, but trust me. Uh, no, the, it's unexpected. It is, it is, and it, again, we've talked about the Clone Saga. We've done at least three of them on this couch. I will say, out of all the Clone Sagas, this is the best one. <laughs> That's still not saying much. It isn't, no, but... the other two are horrible. I still, I, I still stand by it. I like this Clone Saga. Okay, see, I'm that's okay different. Okay. Yeah. All when right. he said it, uh, that was the first time that anyone dared to do another Clone Saga. Right. Technically the third time, because of course there was the original Clone Saga called Genesis, yep. the Clone Saga, and then this. Right. The ultimate Clone Saga. Right. But. And that uh, was, and that, and now you have the Clone. The Clone Conspiracy. conspiracy. And Miles Morales' Clone Saga. Oh yeah, he has a Clone He has a Clone Saga too. What? Is that a continuation of this Clone Saga or? No, 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 no because he's in the main universe now. Yeah. Oh, he, he has a brought. main universe. Main universe clone Miles saga, has right. his own Clone Saga. 
stay tuned for Clone Saga, which won't happen for, you know, a couple of years, but uh, I'm looking forward to doing it one day. Yeah. One day. One day. One day when we hit, what was it? Uh, I think we said 300,000? Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, uh, it was the third Clone Saga, 300,000. Yeah, oh, hey, all yeah. right, all right. Well, that's up Works to you now. Me. Balls of your court, you audience. Come on, bring it on. Looking forward to it. See you guys next time with another episode. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. So long. I could have said three million. Well, that's a little, that's a little uh, presumptuous. Is it? I feel like it is. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs>